Welcome to part 24 of Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends. And today we're going to wrap up all of the Wu stories by possibly not taking on this battle as Wu. Because you can take this on as Wei and Nanmin, which would pretty much eliminate this battle completely from the bucket list of battles that I have to do. Keep in mind, everyone shares battles some way, shape, or form. This one is shared by not only Wei, but the Nanmins. So with that said, we're gonna pick the Battle of Qingdu, which is the last stage for uh, Wu, and also if you happen to stop the assault, oh no, stop the fire attack at Chirbi, it is the last stage for Wei, and if you happen to uh, take out, I do believe, Sun Jian first. This is the last stage for... Oh, I think the capture card is dying here. It, it's kind of on life support here. That's what I was saying. This was the last stage for the Nanmins, as you can wholeheartedly see. The only difference between the Nanmins and Cao Cao and... Also, uh, Sun Jian is one, the position of the Arbalist, and two, that one guy, Zhu Bao, that happens to be holed up in his uh, fortress. That's the only difference. Oh yeah, and one other thing, both uh, Wei yes, and Wu has Zhang Fei guarding the bridge to Changban. Unfortunately, that won't be the case for the Nonmins, but you see, the Nonmins have something a little bit different. A generic officer guarding the way, as you'll soon see if the cap if the AV cable doesn't stop dying. I won't let you scum destroy the dreams of our fathers! I, Zheng Bao, son of Zheng Fei, shall smite you! Yeah, in Wei and Wu, that would have been Zheng Fei standing right in the way. But unfortunately, Whoa, that's not the case. By the way, unlike Wei and Wu, um, there's already gonna be a guy trying to go after me. Damn. So it would be in your best interest oh yeah by the way I am talking over this because of the fact that this is only a cutscene that's only showing uh, actions not words but uh, it would be in your best oh, interest to go after Who's all of the go? commanding officers that happen to be heading over to Ming Hua anyone too close to Ming Hua or at least whoever's in charge of the base and, well, Enemy you're officer, just gonna defeated. end up having to deal with main caps under attack, assist at once, even though he's on an elephant. That's the ironic part! Ming Hua can actually struggle in... Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Captain Card. Hold on. That's all I was about to say before my Captain Card started dying. Ming Hua can actually struggle and be killed while on an elephant. Yeah, I know the elephants aren't invincible, but the uh, officers that ride them can for some reason still be struck down and struggling. Also, that can pertain to his, uh, to the officer's troops. That that officer would be down to, oh god damn it, I was about to say, that officer would be down to zero. So, let's just hop on the horse. Oh yeah, and just for the record, it may take a couple of days for me to upload this because of the fact that this particular uh, part is an eight hour uh, process. So yeah, you'll more than likely find it on a Tuesday. That does not interrupt the whole schedule though. I mean, I still intend on starting Mega Man X8. In fact, I've already gone on to the... Actually, I already have like 
half of it recorded by now. I mean, I want to try to at least get as much as I can done before Christmas. And oh, God, here we go. <sighs> My AV cable is acting like this. So that means while I'm busy trying to get as many episodes of Dynasty Warriors recorded as I can. Oh, by the way, Xiao Yun, which that is actually changed in Wei and Wu for Wei Yan, ironically. However, Wei Yan is not in this stage. And there goes my AV cable. It's, it's dying, folks, I know. And unfortunately, the AV cable ain't gonna be coming till after Christmas. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Good job. Because that means I'm gonna have to deal with this problem during X8. Hopefully I can fix it. And it won't screw me over too bad. But here, yeah. I know, I know. I should actually have this done and bought with a long time ago. But again, I sent off for it. And of course, from where it's coming from, it's gonna take most of the month because I don't have Amazon Prime. I can't help that. Times are hard and I have to change up. Fucking Uber. Anyway. So, now we have to deal with Zhang Bao instead of uh, Zhang Fei, but here's the kicker. Zhang Bao is a powered up generic officer. Which, unfortunately, is an underwhelming generic officer, but a generic officer nonetheless. Enemy officer defeated. I mean, this is a little bit easier for the Nonmans, but at the same time, it's also harder because unlike with Wei and Wu, you can't get the Arbalest. The Arbalest are at the top of the castle, and there's no way to get up there to destroy them. So you're going to have to go to get Masu and deal with him. Also, to try to get some more forces, you're going to have to go and kill Yong Kai. And that's all you really need to do, because uh, Zhu Bao is not going to make any moves until Yong Kai is dead. Because Yong Kai is the only one that is still actually... Uh, well to shoe. Let us find glory as well. So I can no longer serve under Liu Bei. We will join the non He forces. just rejoined the Naman forces. So Zubao is basically making sure that we've got ourselves a stronghold. Now there are three split paths in this area. And also, there is the Arbalites we still have to deal with. But there are three split paths in this area. Like, as soon as we get past that one castle. The first path, you'll end up running into Juggernauts. The second path, you'll end up running into an endless ambush unit. The third path will have mines. I'll get to the mines soon enough. But there's still one other thing I need to mention. Besides, there's both Zurong and... I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to remember. Oh yes, Da Chao. Both have a weapon here. And both of them include... Eliminating all the generals and sub-generals. However, in the case of uh, Zurong, you have to eliminate Ma Chao first and make sure that his ambush does not get to the main camp. And meanwhile, Da Chao, you have to eliminate everyone up until you get to Zuga Leong. We can't fall behind. So yeah, there's that. And speaking of eliminating people, and well, i.e. Ma Chao, he's gonna be a highly inspired officer. Good job. So you might want to bear that in mind when you're trying to fight off against Machao, because some of these guys are going to be highly inspired, obviously because this is supposed to be the battle that ends all battles. I mean, it's a difficult five. It's a difficulty five. Oh, actually, no, it's a difficulty. Yeah, it's a difficulty five for the Nomads. It's a difficulty six for everyone else. 
but it's still difficult nonetheless because of the fact that you have to keep beating up enemies just so you can keep the morale up for all of your officers. By the way, having a level 8 morale for your officers don't mean shit. If they can't handle taking down a couple of troops, they'll end up getting their they're, they'll end up getting destroyed and you'll end up failing, so you're gonna have to keep an eye on them at all times. Ah, there's my suit. I was trying to find the guy, but I couldn't find him. Ah, there he goes. I'll just take this. Enemy officer defeated. And we're gonna go for um uh, Let's see. We we're gonna be going go for this is too easy. the forest, actually. Just keep on going. But bear in mind that forest ambush is party. not safe. It is time. Hide yes, there the are ambush units. The enemy. Among the ambush units, Guan Yu. Yeah, keep that in mind, folks. Because I, oh yeah, come on, AV cable, hold out, hold out, AV cable. Because on one end, you're going to be trying to face off against uh, Guan Yu. And on the other end, Ma Chao will come out and try to go for the main camp. Either way, both of them have to be destroyed. And they cannot uh, be allowed to... Oh, shit. I think that was Ma Chao right there. Oh, wait, no, that was Shang Yi. Never mind. And I'm... Guessing you're Wong King. Yep, you are, and uh, I apologize if this video does not get any Enemy views because my AV cable is dying. And yeah, I already set off for another one. And of course, it's not going to be coming until Christmas. Goddamn holiday shipping. Let's see. <clears throat> All we need to do now is just go after Machao. Hopefully, we don't have to worry about uh, Machao actually killing off my main camp, but we can't take any chances. Now, is there something else Fire I need to mention? Oh yeah, I almost on. forgot! Yue Ying is down there, and she's in this stage too. I'm pretty sure I mentioned Juggernauts, but if you're not playing as the Nomnins, uh, Wei Yan would actually- Hey, wait, where the hell are you and how are you struggling? You're on a goddamn elephant, how are you struggling? Anyway... Oh, shit. Mines in their own city. What will they think of next? Now, as I was saying before the cutscene went off, if you are playing as Wu or Wei, you can actually turn Wei Yan to fight for the opposing side and sabotage Yue Ying and the Juggernauts. I mean, more on the lines of Wei Yan will betray uh, Shu just to fight against Zuga Liang, but still, you can actually do that. And that would pretty much make the entirety of this battle a hell of a lot easier if he's on your side. And he's actually got the power to destroy a lot of juggernauts, but if you take out Yue Ying, the juggernauts will not be a problem. Here's where the problem is for the uh, Nodmans. They don't have that option. In fact, Wei Yan is nowhere to be found. Instead, you had Zhu Bao, which is a generic officer on an elephant. Well, the more elephants, the better, but still. You're just going to have to take down any and all soldiers that stand in your way. And more importantly, take care of the ambush troops that's going to still keep coming, mind you. And they will keep coming until you defeat Liu Bei. 
So, even if you defeat Zhuge Liang, that's not gonna stop the ambush troops. But even worse, I do believe that's Guan Yu, apparently. Wait, no, no, that's not Guan Yu yet. I think that one's Guan Yu. Wait, no. I mean, the more you kill off Liu Bei's troops, the lower his morale. Okay, oh, there's Machao. Let's make an about face, because he is probably heading for our main camp. And, good. yeah, it, there are certain ways to get endings in this game. One of the ways is for majority of your team to survive the final battle. Or if you actually have, like, a lot of kills per stage. Or if... Oh, God, man. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, stop it! Thank you! As I was saying, a lot of kills per stage, or... Most of your team survive throughout the entirety of the Musao, or... If you have a low amount of kills. And we went into Machao, and... Up, oh, AV Cable, hold out! Ah, uh, might as well just call this one Hold R, because... Hold R! Hold the door! If anybody got that reference, then by all means, put it in the comment section. Meanwhile, Machao. Good lord. The only thing I have to say is, if you manage to beat him in a duel, by all means, that is fantastic. But Machao tends to counter. Machao can mix up. And more importantly, he does have a gem on his, uh, no, not a gem, an orb, sorry on his weapon, i.e. a lightning board. So, yeah, if you don't beat him, be prepared to be dealing, be stunned by that lightning orb, because that is going to be more of a challenge than actually dealing with a regular Musa officer that doesn't have any. Oh, wait, I almost beat him by a sliver. By a sliver, I almost beat him, but it, they counted it as a draw. Kind of messed up. So, with that said, we're going to have to fight him the old-fashioned way. And, yeah, he's going to actually charge up and heal himself, which will double his attack. So, bear that in mind. Now we're going to deal with Guan Yu. Eventually. I'm pretty sure Guan Yu's there this time. Why am I so afraid of Guan Yu? Because he will be just like... His encounter in Yi Ling incredibly hard. And like Machao doing a lot of damage. A ridiculous amount. And there is that orb, as I told you. Unlike Machao, Guan Yu is packing a blast orb. So bear that in mind too. Oh, and woe to those if you happen to play Wu and Wei. Cause Zhang Bei also shows up with a uh Vorpal Orb, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, bear that in mind. We can't fall behind. And I think Kuang Zong shows up in the bamboo area, and he'll have a regular orb. No, not regular orb, a poison orb, I think. No, 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 fire orb, fire orb, that's what it was. Kuang Zong is packing a fire orb. So, with that said, now we need to go and deal with Guan Yu. Because, yeah, he is right in front of the boss, and I cannot have that happen. By the way, if we take out Zhuge Liang, Zhang Wei will retreat. However, however, this will also, if I was going for the ultimate weapon for Zhu Rong, screw me over Prepare in the ultimate die. weapon for Zhu Rong. And also Da Chiao as well, because you got to take out them. all of we the, the officers. Every last one of them before your troops do. And of course, we run into the Juggernauts, and we also run into AV Cable problems. And then it dies. And then I resuscitate it. Alright, now it's time for us to deal with Guan Yu. I have won. 
it would be in your best interest to take this guy down in a duel. He's really tough to deal with with his soldiers around. Alright, uh, right, Guan Yu, it's time for round two, I do believe? Yeah, round two. This time, I get to pay you back for your interference in the non-territories. Even though I've already done that in the last part. However, this time, I don't have to worry about uh, dealing with you anytime soon. Because, let's face it, Forgive all that will be left is... Okay, I wouldn't say deal with him anytime soon. Because there are certain missions where you're going to have to fight him again. Just take out the operator. So now... Enemy officer comes the hard part. We're going to have to go and intercept Yue Ying. Because if Yue Ying happens to decide to jump into this battle, she's coming with juggernauts. And whether uh, Ming was on an elephant or not... Yue Ying is going to have her juggernauts blast Ming Huo off of an elephant. And that is where things get terrible. I mean, yeah, you could actually stomp and break the juggernauts, but at the same time, for some reason, you could still get knocked off of your elephant while a juggernaut is blasting you with fire. Thankfully, that does not happen in Empires. Which is all the more reason why if you have elephants, or at least the non territories, at the beginning of the game, you pretty much got the entirety of the game under lockdown in Empires. So, we're gonna have to try to save Ming Hua, who is, right now, dying. Strength or at least struggling. Of power. But I'm in the vicinity, so let's go on ahead and take out Zhuge Liang. I accept your this is challenge. not going to stop the ambush. This may, however, weaken the troops. Because Zhuge Liang is only at high morale. No, everybody's only at high morale because of Zhuge Liang. Oh, and one other thing about this. <clears throat> Zhuge Liang has barely any defense, but his attacks are pretty damn deadly if you do not have uh, high enough stats, which I do. Hopefully I can catch him. There we go. He was blocking for a good bit, so at least I managed to I have drop his guard while I circled around him with my Musao. That's the one good thing I like about this Musao. Alright. Now it's time for us to try to get rid of uh, Yue Ying. Because the last thing we need is her goddamn juggernauts. But if you think that's all the aces that Shu have has up their sleeve, you're sadly mistaken. You can't hold them. So let's hop on a horse and let's try to counter uh Amazing. Yue Ying's offense. And more along the line running to Guan Ping too. Let's see the unit info. Oh no, uh Yue Ying is the only one left. Okay. I guess they must have took care of Ma Liang. And Guan Ping was taken care of. Okay! Come on. Let's get moving too. Go King Mulu! This doesn't look good. And Wu Tugu is struggling still. And Zhu Rong is struggling. Great. Just great. I'll just example. have to go the old-fashioned way and cut them off. <clears throat> There's... Oh, and Yue Ying's just routed Zhu Rong. God damn it. At least it's not Ming Hua, so that's at least good. Now then. We just need to take care of those pesky juggernauts because we don't want Yue Ying to be involved in this battle. Because once the juggernauts come in, unless you have like the upper hand, like using the elephants before they open fire, you will be blasted. And no matter how much defense you have, juggernauts 
hurt. They hurt a lot. Oh, and by the way, this won't be the last time we'll see. I just thought about it. This won't be the last time we see uh, the Shu forces. Because we're going to have to deal with the Battle of Wuzang Plains eventually. I just thought about that too. Uh, whatever the case, we just gotta push back these. Ow! Enemy officer defeated. I just got finished telling you those juggernauts actually hurt well, despite my, my defense, and I have a very high defense, and it took at least a quarter off of my health. And now that the juggernauts are gone, now it's time to deal with Liu behind. Bei. Again, Liu Bei also has one more trick up his sleeve. Aside from me running into a random enemy, I was about to say Liu Bei has one last trick up his sleeve before he goes all out. And that one trick up his sleeve will be shown in just a moment. But I will say this. You see the morale right there? That's not gonna last long. Despite the fact you took out just about every officer in this stage, it's not gonna last long. The morale will start dropping immensely, and there's going to be a good reason why. But first, let's go after Liu Bei, because after all, he is the one that we need to deal with in order for us to beat the stage. And now for his trump card, because we just made it to Liu Bei. Lord Liu Bei. Peasants? Why are you dressed for war? We're your people, Lord Liu Bei. It's our duty. We must fight to repay your kindness. Peasants. That's right, folks. Peasants. And guess what? So long as Liu Bei is alive, the peasants will keep coming. I kid you not. Even if you take down all the gate captains, the peasants will come out of nowhere. You are not safe until you defeat Liu Bei and try to cut down any peasants that stand in your way. By the way, those are the most depressed sounding peasants I have ever seen in my life and I just realized I grabbed the wrong set of bodyguards. And I forgot to set the number to 8. Okay, not only did I grab the wrong set of bodyguards, I forgot to set their numbers from 2 to 8. So at least I'll stand more of a chance. But no, I'm all alone. And I have to hold the line and hold on at, for dear life, hopefully, until I manage to beat this stage because my AV cable is starting to flicker and flash again and I don't need that happening. Well, good news is, at least with the amount of attack and defense that I have, Liu Bei is actually going down very quickly. And, I do believe he's down. Yep. Too bad the third brother wasn't here. Otherwise, I'd have to take him down too. And with that said, I think there's only one more Wu Tail left to deal with. And that is Dong Zhuo in G. Other than that, folks, the battle that we took on would probably be the battle that everybody's going to take on if uh, Shu was the last force they faced. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, as I mourn for my two dead guys, I'll see you guys in part 25. And check out my new uh, end card. But anyway, I'll see you guys in part 25 when we deal with Dong Zhuo in G. This is RPMan 985 See you guys next time. Oh yeah, and if you're used to the elephants, you're gonna hate them in this stage. Bye!